Hey guys, I've got an Acer TravelMate 230 laptop here. It's a very ancient laptop, very old. It's got um, a floppy drive on it. It's so old, right? Floppy drive plus the DVD drive. Uh, the CMOS battery went dead on it over the years. And I had to change the CMOS battery on the motherboard. I looked at a few YouTube videos. They have similar laptops as mine, but not the exact same TravelMate 230. So as I'm doing this, I decided for the benefit of others, I'll make a video to show it. I couldn't make the video from the very start, but here's what I had to do. I had to take out these two small screws from the back here of the laptop. When I took those two screws out, this front panel, I had to get that out, just use a small flathead screwdriver and pry it out. This could, you know, has a, a ribbon cable uh, actually not a ribbon cable, a uh, regular cable on it here. That comes out and the keyboard here, you have to push the keyboard forward a bit and then wiggle it out very gently. The keyboard has a ribbon cable on it. This here is the new battery in already. This was the old battery. You could see the the black and red wires that the cord is a bit shorter on the original manufacturer's battery. The replacement battery, the cable is a little longer. It doesn't matter though, because it's going to be pressed down by the panel. Uh, what I forgot to tell you is to get to this battery, it's not just exposed like that. This panel was on top of it right on top covering the battery uh, it's got three screws one two three and these are longer screws than the ones that came out from the back so there's no way of mixing up these screws with each other now you don't when you put this battery back in you don't need to use any glue or anything like that once you put it in because on this panel it's got a rubber um, pad here so that rubber pad goes on top of the battery to keep it down now just take a note in case you have to do this in case you have a, a laptop like this there's a little tab here on this and that tab has to go under this part here not over it goes under this part under that and then this yeah. hope I get a good focus here for you guys I don't like to make a bad video for you goes down there There it is, ready to be screwed down. So this tab goes under. There's another tab here that sits on top of this part here. And then the one, two, three screws, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video now, put the screws back in. Okay, so my three screws are back in this panel is back on securing the battery here and whatever else is underneath I'm gonna pause again while I put the keyboard back in and this panel here so give me a few moments oh I forgot to show you something on the keyboard before I put it back on as it's lying here you could notice it's got one two three 
four tabs on this front edge which is going to be going back towards the uh, screen and on this side here also it's got one two three four tabs okay so just keep that in mind so they've got a hook in and the sides the sides here are smooth there's no tabs on the sides just keep that in mind okay because these tabs have to secure the keyboard I'm gonna pause again show you this I just decided to use a piece of tape to keep this here from falling down back when I'm putting the keyboard in you might want to keep that in mind back again I've got the keyboard in those four tabs on the front part and the back part that I told you about there are another there are other tabs as well if you look closely here but not on the keyboard on the main frame there's one tab here there's another tab here and over here on the other side there's one tab here and one up here so you've got to press in the keyboard on each side so it fits in it snaps in you'll hear it careful not to break anything and now the keyboard is flat and I'm gonna take this and put it back there now give me a minute I'll pause again all right let's take a look at this panel that has to go back in I don't want to break anything I've noticed it's got a bunch of tabs on it all along the edges here and on this side here you see this one of them here and that's another one it's very difficult for me to actually show you these things but you got to be careful I have to figure out I think it's going to go in here first and then the other side is going to go on so give me a minute I'll let you know what the trick is Hey guys, I'm having a little bit of difficulty putting the back, this back in. I did notice here, there are two black cables, one black cable coming over here. So I'm going to try and stuff these back in, in case, because this part here is bumping up. I notice there's a bump up. The rest of it is clean and well seated, but this part is bumping up. So give me a few minutes more so i've got everything hooked back up got my power in let's see what happens now i'm gonna have to set the uh, clock press f2 to add the bio setup all right okay let's go to main all right so our time is off that's showing zero zero one thirty january first nineteen eighty eight so let's set the time time is nearly seven forty eight all right seven now the tab takes you over to the next digit so 48 48 7 48 and we go down the arrows take you down to the next level so system date is going to be march 7 2021 so March would be three. The tab. Tab takes you over. Uh, that will be seven. And tab takes you over again and twenty twenty one. All right, so we got a time at seven forty eight in the morning at March 7, 2021, on F10, exit, yes. Let's see what happens now. That's the main thing I wanted to do was change that battery. 
but it still had another problem before that I don't know if it's gonna need more work we'll see what I'll do is I'll power down after this then power it back up and see if it held the time the main battery is completely dead <coughs> doesn't have any life in it so it could only work with the power adapter anyhow let me just pause it here again and see okay so I've got the power unplug you could see with the power button nothing happens because this the main battery is completely dead so I'm gonna put this adapter back in that's some going on there I'm gonna go back into the BIOS once it starts up F2 to enter and we just want to see if it kept the time let's go over to main all right it kept the time because the CMOS battery was changed time is 7:54 at March 7 2021 okay so that's all I wanted to do it has another problem but I'm gonna have to do some more troubleshooting on that all right guys I hope this was helpful to you thank you very much for watching um, I've got other videos here as well with my bike a 1978 Honda CB 125s you could check it out some other videos from uh, when we had some snowstorms so hope you enjoy it if you like please uh, subscribe and like and share and once again I changed the CMOS battery oh by the way keep your old battery just in case you can't find this that I bought, the, the battery that I bought, if it's unavailable, you take this out, you could open up this plastic case in, see whatever battery is in here, buy the same battery from, you know, like a, any kind of store that you get it from, or eBay, maybe, um, and then just change the battery. You may have to do some soldering or something like that, but be careful with that. So don't throw your old battery away. All right, keep that. Yeah, so getting back to it, Acer TravelMate 230 laptop, changing the CMOS battery. Take care now, bye.